I'm Jerry Ford. I'm gonna review some some Sasak Bori Organic Barley Sprout Powder. <clears throat> so this was sent to me by by Stella at the Nausbo Naus Company. Um, so this is an interesting product. Um, let's see. Let me let me read a little bit about it. Okay. Um, so. What is Saysak Bori? Saysak Bori is a Korean word for barley sprout. Saysak meaning sprout and Bori meaning barley. CN Korean barley sprout powder is made of organic barley grass harvested during the sprout stage no taller than six inches. The stage where barley has the highest nutritional value in its whole lifetime. So benefits of our barley sprout, say barley grass is, is amongst the earlier grown sweet grass for over 10,000 years. It was popular for ancient Greeks and Romans with their, with, with their reasons of nutrient dense profile and multi-dimensional benefits. Enhance immunity, blood purification, and may boost blood circulation. Also detox detoxify liver, <clears throat> prevent hypertension and diabetes, can improve skin health and lose weight. Um, nutrients. Barley sprout is densely packed with essential micro and macro nutrients such as vitamins, minerals, protein, and fiber. Its nutritional value far exceeds other many known superfoods. 20 times more dietary fiber than sweet potatoes, 16 times more iron than spinach, five times more calcium than milk, 20 times more potassium than apples. <clears throat> okay. Ingredient is 100% certified organic barley sprout powder made in Korea. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm thinking about, like during this video, I'm going to do um, uh, two products in the one video. Um... <clears throat> so, of course, I haven't opened this yet, haven't tried it. Um, I don't know anything about it other than what's been said on the back of here um, or what I've researched a little bit on my own. And uh, um, I've, I've only watched one other video uh, review of it from Keith Tube. Keith Tube, if I pronounced that right. Um, <clears throat> so he did a good video. You might check him out. He's... He's got good information. Um, he appears to be a good uh, uh, reviewer. I've just only discovered him since I was looking to see if anybody's reviewed this. <clears throat> so, um, I'll, I'll mention a few other things here um, as I go along. But let's, let's start off with, I want to um, use this in, well, I thought it was a, I thought it was an interesting idea that Keith Keith did in his. He uh, he just started off by using some hot water just to, you know, get a get a taste of it without any other added flavors. So <clears throat> so let's just let's do that first because I think it's a good idea. I just got. I cleaned out my coffee pot and uh, run some water through it, so it's just hot water. I'm just gonna use just a half of, of this little glass here. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so let's get it cut open. Let's get a. Ch let's. Um, Let's get a look at this stuff. Keith's uh, reviewing techniques are similar to mine. Um, he's got editing, which I don't yet. Um, so he was able to um, do a better, you know, do more content than what I probably can do in one video. 
Interesting. It does have a grassy aroma. It has a, a light, sweet aroma, almost like <clears throat> what you would smell like in the summertime when someone has just cut their grass. You know, when you come by a yard that's freshly mowed, that's just the, kind of the aroma you get. There's also something else in there. can't pick it up. I can't, I mean, I can't describe it. Freshly cut grass is probably the best I can do on the aroma for me. It's green. <clears throat> See it down there? Okay, so it says it calls for a half teaspoon when using it. Um, so let's just start off with, with that in this glass of hot water. It's very fine powder. It's almost like, it's about as fine as baby powder. It's almost like chalk dust. Okay, so there we go. Half a teaspoon, putting it in. Let me get so I don't get this all over everything. <clears throat> get my a little paper towel here and get it kind of wet so I can wipe my fingers off. <clears throat> okay. So I want to hold this up here, let you all see. Get it stirred up here. It doesn't dissolve like totally, like real quick or anything. There's some little clumps kind of floating around there, so you gotta kind of bust them up. That's where a clear glass kind of helps. You can see where they are. <clears throat> okay, that did it. <clears throat> okay. okay, the aroma now after mixed in this water is kind of, kind of smells cereal-like a little bit. No, wait a minute. Like, uh, like peas. It uh, has kind of a um, green peas uh, kind of aroma, like the the juice of when you put it in a pot and put make it on the stove. Has a little bit of a grassy, a little bit of a green pea um, aroma. Okay, let's see what we got here. It might burn me. It's still kind of hot, but might be able to get it like a spoonful of it, like like it's broth. That way I can kind of blow on it. Okay. Um, it's like, it's like, a, like, now it's kind of like diluted um, green pea water, like if you take the juice from, from a can of green peas and you add some water to it, kind of the taste you would get, it doesn't taste bad.
So, um, <clears throat> enhance heart health, blood sugar control. Um, there's lots of ways you can use this. Um, with all the, the, the health benefits that this is showing to have, um, <clears throat> it's not, the flavor is not to the point where it's going to, you know, alter your food taste um, that much any, anyway. Uh, so it's going to be easy to add to a lot of things. Um, Says so you can add it to coffee. Um, along with your your sweetener. I think Keith mentioned that. Um, <clears throat> you can add it to, uh, you know, a bowl of oatmeal. Um, um, your tea, hot tea. Um, says you can add it to hummus. Salad dressings, soups, stews, pesto, uh, sauces, baked goodies, it says, mashed potatoes, um, and about any drink that you would want to make, you could add a, a half teaspoon of this to it, and the most it'll do is just m maybe just turn that drink to a, a tint of green, um, but you're not going to hardly taste it. It kind of has a little bit of a, of a tea, kind of taste a little bit. I think Keith might have mentioned that too. It does kind of have a, a little bit of a green tea, kind of a, of a um, tea, kind of a, it's not really a bitter, it's just kind of a, a, kind of a bland, kind of a dull taste on the back end, kind of like how tea can be, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> So, pretty good. Um, uh, so, the Naspo company, it, um, they're, a producer, they're a producer and supplier of organic barley sprout powder in South Korea. Um, they're famous for their matcha, CN matcha um, drink, or it's kind of a, like a same, like a, if I remember correctly, it's a powder also. Um, <clears throat> it's packed with vitamins and minerals and enzymes. <clears throat> so, so there you go. Um, since I we're at 13 minutes and I can't edit, I'm just going to end it here with, you know, just trying it with just hot water. And I'm going to make another another review video review of a come more of a pairing with a um with some oatmeal so uh check out that video too uh thank you stella at now smoke company for sending me this to get to try i appreciate that and uh you guys you know check it out if you're into you know trying to live a little bit more healthier life um especially us old old guys and gals um this is uh, good for uh, good for us too, um, to be able to uh, um, indulge in a little bit of a easy intake of you know natural good you know stuff. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna end it there. I thank you all for uh, for watching. I appreciate it, and uh, check out the next one. All right. <clears throat>